Hello and welcome to Paul's Model Train Stuff. Yesterday I've been to an exchange train show thing and I've been able to find the caps for the brushes for this engine which I tried to repair and then found out I didn't have the parts, had a lot of beer and rambled for 45 minutes. So, um, Today I'm hoping to finish this and get this up and running. I have been playing around with it a bit to see uh, where all the parts are supposed to go, but nothing really major. Last time I cleaned the engine. Oh boy. Uh, all the weight is falling out. Yep. And today I'm going to put the caps in place and get the brushes in. And... Um, gonna find out if these caps are the correct ones uh, <coughs> they're supposed to be only one size so let's see if this is actually it snaps right on great that's the other one that just leaves me to find where I have my, I put my brushes. And here we go. <coughs> Adding these and uh, I don't know if I unwrapped a few of them last time, but I do know springs jump everywhere. Go. All right. Um, let's see how I'm gonna do this. I think it's probably best to put the engine together, put the brushes in, put the springs in, and then closing it all up. Engine here in place, the motor. Well, that's more like it. I could just desolder that, and but I'm too lazy, so I'm just gonna struggle with it for the rest of the video. I had fun yesterday, picked up lots of old broken crap, if I may say so. Uh, I have a lot of things to figure out, a lot of fixing to do, so content, yay. Getting the last screw in here. That does not seem to fit at all. Or does it? Yes, it does. The brushes, they should be. They should just go straight in here. If I have the correct size, it looks like it. Just wondering if these springs are not way too big for this for this engine. I think they will be pushing down too hard on this. But the the only thing I have right now. Maybe I have better springs in one of the things I picked up yesterday. But I'm gonna try it with this first. Number two. Yep, we're closing it up again. Getting the test track now. The 
big moment. Nothing. So something else must also be broken. Hmm. Now the let's see the uh, okay take that out no from one of the sides of the wheels the chassis is, is receiving the power and the other end is going through this coil down onto one of the other wheels these two to be exactly so this wheel these wheels should connect to the chassis of this all and these two should connect to the inner wire so let's get the voltmeter out I put it to continu continuity so it beeps when it makes contact let's see from here to here yes from here to here that's not good from here to that's not supposed to happen this is a dead short that's never gonna work. Nope. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. These. Now let's think about this. Um, the wheels are basically shorting out the track. So that's not good. Why on earth would they do that? Everything else seems to be fine. This is all. Nope. I, I'm I'm puzzled now. So from here to here it's short. But these also short. Short. Sort of short out. Um Right. Could it be the engine itself is shorting out? Okay. I did I did not expect that. What is going on here? Okay. I think I'm going to first get rid of this light connection to make sure nothing odd is going on there. Can get this. Yeah, just that one. Making it also a lot easier to handle. Uh, not good. What did I do wrong? Where did this go? Boom. Somewhere. Uh. Okay, um, that's unexpected. Not what I was hoping for. This is a little, this is an interesting engine. A little locomotive that does not want to. Let's see if I did anything wrong here with the engine itself, the motor. Let's go with this. Ow, ow, ow. Ease. Here we go. Okay. What? That's not supposed to be a dead short between these two. 
ever. Wheels are still shorting out. Let's see how much the resistance actually is. It's just no resistance. This is this is going to take more time than I was expecting. How is this ever gonna work if it's shorting out? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna just open up some stuff and uh, check out what's going on here. So I figured it out. Um, this connector here, I thought it was meant to get the power from the wheels onto the chassis here. But it's not. It it's a dummy basically to make it look a bit better. Um, so what's happening here is um, these two here are picking up the power from the axles, and this bit over here is picking up the power of the side of these wheels. So this these axles go to the center and go through the screw onto the chassis. And from the side of the wheels, it picks it up from here and puts it through the coil to the engine. Now, this one, um, it's actually not, it's, it's not attached to anything. So it just sits there looking pretty. It can pick up power. It can probably make sure that it's probably just the, getting the power from this wheel onto that wheel. So it can flow through here as a more of uh, having an extra bit of extra um, um, how to say connection to, to the track uh, but the, all the, 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 the pins of this were completely bent so they were touching between the wheel and the chassis itself therefore shorting out the whole locomotive it's the bit of the, the flaw in these these old ones where they use the, uh, the, the, the body of the, the motor itself to uh, to pass the current through um, if anything touches the uh, mostly iron uh, chassis, it will immediately short out. So you have always have to be careful. Um, nothing is touching the, 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 the iron parts where it shouldn't be. So I bent the pins back. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure if this is going to work, but there should not be a connection between this screw and here. There is a bit of current flowing, but that could be because it's going through the motor itself. So, in theory, it should now sort of run. And I think I need to do something about these brushes. I think they're pushing too hard against the inside of the engine but it is running so that is mission partially successful i'm gonna resolder the lights and i'm gonna close it all up um maybe add a little bit of grease to make it sound a little less awful and i'm gonna leave it with that for today Is on here. Putting the uh, lid back on the, the whole assembly. Well, it still fits. Getting the big screw, dropping it in here. Very nicely done. Whew. 
Ooh, awful. But it's, uh, it's in one piece. It's working again. So uh, thank you for, uh, for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.